What's up family from the beautiful beaches of Zanzibar off the coast of Tanzania in Africa. Today's transmission, how incredibly, extremely successful people become successful. So I've noticed something in myself and in other people in the industry that I'm living in and just looking at athletes and meditators and anybody who's incredibly successful at anything, the one thing that I've noticed is that those who are extremely successful at what they do, do what they can as fast and as efficient as possible without rushing or being in a hurry. I know this in my heart because the moment you start rushing, you move from creator to competitor. You move from abundance mentality to scarcity mentality. The moment that you start to rush and hurry, you become the hare instead of the tortoise. And we all know that the hare doesn't win the race. The tortoise does. The tortoise does because it's doing the best that it can from where it can as efficiently as possible while keeping its eye on the prize. We look at Olympians, we look at champion surfers, we look at people like Michael Jordan, LeBron James, we look at people like Steve Jobs, we look at people who've done things in an extraordinary way and I'm telling you right now, this is the number one habit that they have. They do things as fast as possible and I want to tell you guys something. I know that sometimes you can think, well, uh, I don't have enough time, right? But I have to remind you that you're the creator of time. And sometimes we get in the conversation of, you know, there may not be more opportunities because, you know, other people may take them, but I must remind you that you generate opportunities from the way that you're being. Because we live in an abundant universe. We live in an abundant universe that has no lack, no lack in the universe. The question is, is, are you in alignment with that which has no limits to it? Because if you are, then you become the person who generates more and more and more. So yes, someone may beat you to the idea, someone may beat you to the mate, someone may beat you to the job, but if you can get into alignment, the universe will make a way out of no way and create another job, another mate, and more ideas. Guys, this is how this whole thing works. Some people call it the law of attraction, but it's so much more layered than that. This is about alignment. And I'm telling you firsthand, the success that I'm experiencing, I'm not saying that I have all the money in the world, I'm not saying that I, everybody knows me and I have the biggest following or anything of that nature, but I have a tribe, I have a group of people who believe in my message, who believe in the message, who believe in love and we're doing it together. And I'm experiencing the abundance of life and why that is happening is because as much as possible, I tap in to all needs met right now. And when I do that, I become the frequency, the vibration of abundance. Thank you so much for taking this journey with me from the beautiful white sand beaches of Zanzibar, Africa, with my brothers right here, Mambo VP! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> yes! Yeah. Yeah. If you're new to the family, new to the tribe, and you have not clicked subscribe yet on YouTube, and or on Facebook, go ahead and do that. I love you so much. If you're looking for some inspiration, there's about 150 other videos on my channel, so go ahead and you, scroll brother. through there. I love you so much. We love you too, brother. I love you too, brother, yeah. Blessings and blessings is going down in a beautiful, major way. Oh, oh. Sometimes you must be willing to walk alone. You must be willing to step out on the edge by yourself in the darkness in order to see that thing that's on your heart manifest.